Okay, now we get to um, star clusters. So we take out another chart from my website. You should have it printed out by now. It's called Messier Catalog. So the Messier Catalog of Nebulae and Star Clusters. So let me show you how to s what this chart means and how to learn wh what the different columns mean. Charles Messier wa studied these objects in the sky in 1780s. And basically, he wanted to make a list of objects in the sky that are not single stars. Any object that is visible from a standard telescope, a good telescope, that is not a single star. And he made a list of them. Messier object one, Messier object two, Messier object three, so on. Now we have a much bigger list called the National Galactic Catalog. So Messier object one corresponds to the 1,952 object in the National Galactic Catalog. What is the location of Messier object one? Five hours, 33 arc minutes. Right ascension, the RA angle. Declination, 2201. Apparent visual magnitude, 8.4. So if we went to the celestial chart way, way back in lecture two, remember this was zero hours. This was one hour. Two, three, I'm, I'm making them too big, but uh, this one should be 12 hours, 11, and uh, 6 should be somewhere around here. Uh, this should be 5, this should be 4, 3, 2, 1. And then by the time you get to the whole thing, it's 24 hours, right? So where would this be, object, messy object 1? Five hours, 33 minutes, so roughly around here. Five hours, between five and six. Declination, 22. Okay. Uh, this one, when the sun was at its highest, it was 23 and a half, right? That's when the earth got to the highest point. Oh, we've forgotten that lecture, haven't we? Time for you to remember it again. So where would the Messi object one be? Five and a half, 22, somewhere about here. Okay? Could you see it with your naked eye? What is its apparent visual magnitude? 8.4. What does that mean? Can you see it with your naked eye? You can't see it. What's the rule behind that? Anything greater than a six, you need a telescope. Six, seven, eight, you need telescope. How about a five or four? Can you see it? Not from LA. Three, two, one, maybe you can see from LA. You know? So it depends where you're gonna see it from. You know? But eight, you definitely you can't see it. What is the description of this object? Crab nebula in the constellation Taurus. Remains of the supernova remnant that the Chinese observed in 1054. Oh, okay, you see? That's the Crab Nebula. So if you look in that location of the constellation chart, you should see the constellation Taurus. And inside of there, Crab Nebula, remains of the supernova remnant. Okay? What other kinds of objects are there? Messi Object 2, Right Ascension 21, Deck 0, so roughly around here, 21 would be here. Deck zero, so somewhere around here, in the middle of the sky. The apparent visual magnitude 6.4, what is it? Globular cluster. OK, now let's start going through it quicker. Third object, globular cluster. Fourth, globular, globular. Then uh, this one, open cluster, open cluster. Lagoon Nebula, globular cluster, globular cluster, open cluster. Open, 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 dumbbell planetary nebula, globular cluster, open cluster, global cluster, Andromeda galaxy. That's the first one on the list, that's a galaxy. 
first one on that list. It's M31. M31, where is its location? Zero uh, hours, 41. So zero hours, 41, somewhere about here. Andromeda galaxy. Zero hours, 41, so it's uh, above that line, okay? Andromeda galaxy, can we see with our naked eye? 3.5? Yeah. Now you know where to look. Okay, look in the direction of the Andromeda constellation. Andromeda constellation is actually right there. Your friends, your family will be amazed. You'll say, guys, look at the Andromeda constellation right there. Now, that lob little object that you're looking at there, that's the Andromeda galaxy. They'll be like, what? That galaxy is actually bigger than us, bigger than the Milky Way. Okay? Amazing. You can actually see it with your naked eye if you know where you're looking. It's in the Andromeda constellation. You see? What other objects? Elliptical galaxy, spiral galaxy, open cluster, open cluster. Uh, what else? M42 is famous, Orion Nebula. What, what kind of objects do you notice in the Messier catalog? How can we break them down? There are open clusters. There are globular clusters. There are a bunch of kinds of nebula. There are two major kinds of nebula. One is a star nursery. Star nursery. That means it's about to form stars. A nebula that's about to form stars. Another kind of nebula is like planetary nebula or a supernova remnant, which is the death of a star. Planetary nebula or supernova. Planetary nebula is a death of a light mass star. Supernova, death of a heavy mass star. And the other kinds of objects is galaxies. Okay? In the uh, uh, Messier catalog. So let's finish with that page of the notes and then uh, we'll do the rest of the pages on Wednesday. So let's go here, lecture 12. So Charles Messier's 1781 catalog, 103 objects without knowing what each of them were. Later, others added seven more. There are 110 Messier objects now. Most of them are invisible to the naked eye. The brightest ones that you can see, probably without needing the telescope, are Messier object M7, open cluster in Scorpius. Messier object M31, which is the Andromeda. I told you about the Andromeda. Messier object M42, the Orion Nebula. Messier object M44, the Praecipi, Praecipi open cluster. Messier object M45, the Pleiades open cluster. This is very famous, the Pleiades. There's a lot of mythology behind it, the open cluster Pleiades. And it's very, very bright looking. This is the Pleiades right here. You see, there's a, it's an open cluster. I'll talk to you about what open versus globular cluster means on Wednesday. See this one? Look how many bright stars there are in the uh, Pleiades cluster. Okay, so we're going to do Wednesday open clusters, globular clusters, galaxy, Milky Way galaxy, and other kinds of galaxies, okay?